<laughs> this one. Uh, I'm going to call the meeting to order. I want a moment of silence after the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Lisa lost her dad at the beginning of the week, so let's stand and say the pledge. I pledge allegiance pledge to the flag of the, flag. the United, United States, States of America, of America. And to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please say if you need anything, you know where we are. Thank you. I'm going to start the meeting by uh, asking for a nomination to appoint the, the president. Do I have a nomination? I have a nomination. Stacey King. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Are there other nominations? I nominate Scott. Okay. Is there a second on that? I'll second that. Okay. Okay, I'm, I've never been in this situation before, so I'm gonna ask Dr. Morgano, how do we work this out when we have two nominations? Take a vote. Take a vote, okay. Let's take a vote on Stacy Kuhn for president. Nancy? Who's on the door? You can break the tie now. Oh, okay. So, Nancy, can you just let me know yes or no? I can't see. Yes. <coughs> um, What's up, Amador? Kristen? Yes. Yeah. Stacy? No. Scott? No. Amador, we have a tie for uh, nominations for president. We are voting right now on Stacy, and the other one is Scott. So I need to get your um, vote on yes for Stacy or no for Stacy to be president. No. Thank you. Thank you. So at this point, no, three, yes is two, and that now has been down. The next nomination is for Scott Halleck. I'm going to start again with Nancy. Please let me know verbally, yes or no. No. Kristen? No. I'm just gonna do Stacy. Stacy? Yes. Scott? Yes. Amador? Yes. Okay, at this point we have three yeses and two noes, so the motion passes. At this point, I am going to um, have Mr. Halleck stand up. We're going to swear him in as a president. Okay, so this is one that you're going to read. I'm just going to ask you to raise your right hand and read what's on that paper. I right, Scott Halleck, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of the Office of President and the Elgin Central School Board member according to the best of my ability. Thank you. You are Thank now you. the President. I'm going to turn the meeting over to you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll sign this after the meeting and give it to you? Yes. Perfect. All right. Clerk Administrative Oath, let's see, the Clerk Oath of Allegiance to Newly I'm right. sorry? Point Vice Two President. Two three to, um, Two or three. All right, I need a, uh, a vote for Vice President, nomination. the nomination for Vice President. I nominate Stacy. Second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Congratulations, Stacy. Approval to appoint district clerk. Approval to appoint Lisa Suburza to the district clerk of the Board of Education for the 2021-2022 school year. We have to uh, give her her oath. I'm sorry? We have to give Stacy her oath. Oh, I thought we were going to do more. Oh, okay. The vice president's fine. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. 
I just need you to raise your right hand and read what's on the paper. I, Stacey Kuhn, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of Vice President of the Eldred Central School Board according to the best of my ability. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Stacey. And we'll do yours, right? Lisa Bertha as a district clerk of the Board of Education for 2021-22 school year. I need a, a vote. A suffer, I mean, I, I need a... Uh, so moved. So moved. No. Nomination. That's not a nomination. I need a... <laughs> motion. Motion. Thank so you. So moved. Motion. Moment. Nancy made the motion. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Approval of the superintendent's performing evaluation. Board of Education has. I'm sorry. Two point oh five. Oh, okay. All right. All stand. I know. We'll have it in front of you, right? Raise your right hand. Go ahead. I, I Stacey Kuhn, do solemnly swear that I will support, support the Constitution, the Constitution of, the of the United States, States and, the and the Constitution of the State of New York, York. and I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Eldridge Central School Superintendent and the Constitution of the State of New York, according to the best of my ability. Thank you. 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 Thank you
We are down to the superintendent's report. I need to put on my glasses. <laughs> Well, my report is very brief this evening. Uh, summer school has gotten off to a resounding success, and it's something that I think we'll look to do in the future as well. Michael, you have anything you want to add? No, tennis has been good. Tennis has been remarkable for something that they don't have to attend. And uh, the kids seem fine. The uh, summer will be busy. We have the district uh, strategic plan to re uh, renew and establish goals. I'll be meeting with the administrators on August 11th to, to do that. And that's all I have. Very good. Any questions for Dr. Morgano? On the board? No. Um, all good? Very good. D District Treasury Report. All right. Mine is relatively small as well. We're in the middle of finishing up our year-end work. Um, the budget projection is pretty close to what I had been speaking for the last couple months. We're looking at between four and 600000 in the fund balance this year. Um, We've started filling out uh, for the summer projects. Jed has actually gotten quotes for a number of the things. We're looking to upgrade our entire wireless system. Um, we just signed the document to get the fire system replaced over at the elementary school. And Scott Krebs has done some work on getting the big play unit in there. And he's going to be filling in Michael uh, on the work he's done there over at the elementary school. Uh, almost all of that is going to end up being grant funded with that $1.8 million that we were given. Um, we have, a, as you'll see on the agenda, we have found a new treasurer to restaff the business office. Uh, she can't be here today. She is, was on vacation. I, we actually gave her a call because she did very well uh, in the previous interview and uh, she had already had this plan. Um, she'll have to get sworn in at the next board meeting. Um, and then on the last note, we are going to have to have a single audit. What a single audit is, is essentially uh, an audit of each individual grant that we received. It's required on school districts that receive federal grant funds in the amount of 750000 or more. That's going to be on 2021. That doesn't include the $1.8 million. We hit over 750 this year. Uh, so they're going to be uh, there's going to be an additional uh, component of our audit where they audit each individual grant. And the grants paid for summer school. The grants paid for summer school. And we'll for the pay next for it next year and the year after that. Correct. For three years, it will pay for that. Uh, and that is all I have right now. Good. I don't have a report. Thank you. Got a whole lot going on. Uh, I need a public comment on the consent agenda items only. Nothing? Okay. At least I can move right back to the back page, right? I need a motion to approve consent items 501 through 902. Make the motion. We made the motion? I did. Stacy, motion second. I'll second. Any discussion? Kristen second. Any discussion on any of the consent items? All good? Okay. Old business to come before the board. Anybody have any old business to come before the board? Mr. Hallett? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I take a vote. Nancy? Yes. Kristen? Yes. Stacy? Yes. Commodore? Yes. Yes. Sorry about that. Old business to come before the board. Any new business to come before the board? I want to mention about the mask. Yeah, we can. Let me do it or you want to? No, you can do it. So, uh, for summer school, right? Right. Yeah, so I got an email today about summer school that the kids do not have to wear masks. They lifted the, the ban for masks in the school, which is a good thing. It's hot. I mean, the kids are, you know, suffer enough. So, I got the email around, I don't know, quarter to two, two o'clock, somewhere around there, that the ban has been lifted. So, passed the word out for kids going to summer school that 
teachers and everything. You know, feel free to wear them. You know, they don't. You know, whatever you're comfortable doing, but they don't have to wear them. Right. That's good news. That is good news because it's really hot. Yeah. Any public comment on anything? I, I have something to say. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that planned graduation and put it together because it was really, really nice. It went very well. Yeah, Tracy, Dr. Morgano, Stacy, everybody that had anything to do with that, it was, it was wonderful. Couldn't have asked for anything more. We even picked a good weather day. It's been rainy yeah. every evening since. Two in a row. So perfect. <coughs> it was like everything was perfect. Okay, I need a motion to enter into executive session I'll for personnel sense. issues. Should be short. Be, I don't attend any business afterwards. I make a motion. Second. I'll second. Okay. Very good. Everybody enjoyed their summer. In August, when's our next meeting? Mm -hmm. I don't have a calendar in front of me.